All right, Drury Spider, thank you so much. He says, from rumors, the 5800X 3D to be high MSRP and low stock, highly likely. If AMD benchmarks shown are accurate, any use case you'd recommend over 5900X, assuming a similar price? First, a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays you up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14.5% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. More information and a special sign-up offer at the end of this video. I, I I have nothing polite to say about the 5800X 3D. That is the stupidest, dumbest product. Man, the number of people in the past six months. And are you have buying been, off of benchmarks or are you buying off a of use case? <laughs> the number of people over the past six months, even when Alder Like launched, but the 3D chips are coming out. It's, it's going to crash. Stop being fanboys. Um, and then the irony is then they didn't even come out with a Ryzen 9 3D chip. No. I, I don't care if the 5800X is high MSRP or low MSRP. I don't care if it's in stock or not in stock. It's going to cost more than... than uh, just no. 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 Good God, The value no. for money won't be there. Okay, yeah, it may be faster, but okay. No. But for how much? <laughs> what are you wanting at? No, it's just, it's, I, I find the entire thing Well, they're going to have something to sell. All, all I've been hearing over the past freaking six months is, but 3D Cash is going to destroy Intel. But 3D Cash is going to blow away the current chips. Wait for the refresh. It's going to be the best thing in the world. Is Why do you all say this? You because you, it still isn't available to independent testers. It's still only in AMD's hands. They've cherry picked and published stuff. And of course, if you've watched their presentations, you know you shouldn't believe anything Intel or AMD tells anybody. Sure. That's true for both companies, and everybody is just just jizzing all over themselves. I, stop being fanboys. I find the 3D, the 3D cache was a cool idea when we first saw it. They took too long to do it. They want too much money for it. They didn't put it across the entire product line. And Alder like launch first. It's, it would have been cool a year ago. But it's like, who cares now? Hand shot fist. What? Hand shot fist. Zen 3 came out in 2019. Mm-hmm. It did. It has been more than two years. Yes, it has. The 3D cache is too late for me to care about. It is. Had it come out a year ago, we'd have had a different conversation. Correct. But it's sort of like, I don't... Do you know what the 3D cache feels to me like? It is AMD's 32X. Impress me and tell me you know what that is. Quick, with the not, filing cabinet in the, in the brain. Not 64X? The 32X was a uh, add-on that plugged into the top of a Sega Genesis system that provided 32-bit oh, yes, right. capabilities. The 32X thing, the but it wasn't thing. quite good enough to be all that impressive. It was rushed to market. It was a little bit too expensive for an add-on, and it launched in North America at the same time that the true 32-bit successor, the Sega Saturn, launched in Japan. So everybody at that point already knew about it, and they're like, why should we buy this when a full 32-bit console is coming out? And they made them not compatible with each other. Yes. If they had made the 32X the same chips and so Sega Saturn games could play, if they had made it so that a Sega Saturn game could be put into the Sega CD or the 32X and run, fine. It'd be clunky, but then you could buy a full 32X later. It was the stupidest. It's, it is what, it's one of the things that really soured the name of Sega because it was a completely pointless and useless product. Release the next generation already. Alder Lake is here. Where's Zen 4? That's what everybody cares about. Mm -hmm. This refresh. That's a lot of resources and a lot of time and a lot of attention for. 
and they didn't even put it at the top of the product line. No. And the 5800X cost too much as it is. The entire Zen 3 product line has been stupid from day one, except for the Ryzen 9s because of price. Yes, the 5600X is fast enough, and if it was 199, I wouldn't mind. The 5800X is certainly nice, and if it was 299, I think it's nice. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's nope. three and four hundred dollars. Yep. It's the price is wrong. It's too late. It's too expensive. And at this point, if you're building a new machine, <laughs> what in AMD's product stack besides the Ryzen nine is worth buying today? Nothing. Nothing. So having a 5800X3D, that's just stupid. You're gonna pay a premium price and build a premium machine and you're gonna have eight freaking cores in 2022. Now, if they get the price right, bit of a different conversation, but highly likely they won't. What would, what would that have to retail app for it to be even considered. Let me be clear with this statement. If we had budget graphics cards, I would have a softer tone. We don't. No. If you are building a new PC in the beginning of 2022, you're building a premium PC. What graphics card are you putting in your computer? No. If you're using your five, excuse me, nearly six year old GTX 1070 or 1080, uh, you're gonna severely bottleneck your machine with an old graphics card at this point. If you're buying a new graphics card, you're gonna spend $1,200 on a 3070 Ti, $1,000 on a RX 6700 XT, $1,500 on a 6900 XT mm -hmm. or more. Yep. The, the 6600 XT's first $600 are stupid. Five, $450 for the 6600's is dumb. There is no budget PC. Nope. And so if you're building a new machine, you're building a premium machine, which means you're building a Ryzen 9 or an Alder Lake. Yeah, it feels like a stopgap measure. I agree. I wouldn't build a six or an eight core machine at this point because of the GPU situation. Now, if there were reasonable budget $250 video cards, I would completely understand the idea of a budget machine. But if you need a budget machine, if you, let's, say, let's say somebody watching, see context. This is the context that everybody's missing. Oh, you mean Reddit? I mean, um... If you've got $1,200 to $1,500 to spend on a computer, go buy a pre-built. There's nothing you can build for that price point that makes any sense whatsoever. It's, they're all stupid. You buy an i5-10400 based system, or now that they've been launched, an i5-12400. But see, the i5-12400s, everybody's going to miss the fact that that's a 6-core chip, not a 10-core chip like the 12600K. Exactly. Um, and yes, I did see Gamers Nexus Benchmark. Uh, don't buy this crap off benchmarks. That's, yeah, fine, it beats it. You know what? An i3-12100 beats an i9-10900K, so long as you don't need more than four cores. Oh, four cores. The Celeron two-core, two-thread chip in single-threaded test beats an i9-10900K. Uh, i9 the reason why I took so long to start the stream today is because this lovely machine on four cores took its sweet time updating everything. Well, it's also Skylight cores. It is, but still, four yes. cores for the win. It should be four cores for the weight. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with using a four core machine, but you wouldn't build one today. No. And if you still have one, you don't need to change anything. Like if somebody's playing Overwatch, for example, four cores 
8 threads, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RX 580 for 1080p or a GTX 1070 for 1440p. Boom, you're done. For okay. older games. For older games. But so you're done. You're not buying new games. Nope. You're playing old games. You're buying hardware appropriate games. Yes. Imagine that. It's a new concept. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I had something to say there. Yes, you did. Because of the lack of graphics cards, there is no budget PC market. By the way, everybody watching, please check to make sure you're subscribed because if you came from one of the links, if you look on YouTube, you might be shocked to find you're not subbed to TNN. Yeah, so hit that hit that sub button, hit the join button. Mikey's we also only have 63 likes on the live stream. And since Mikey's- 74. Refresh. It says 74 now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to explain how F5 works? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Uh, you do. Uh -huh. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, and no credit checks or interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money everywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. Yes, you heard me right. Use your new Crypto.com Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and you get 100% back in rewards. How would you like to earn up to 14.5% annual interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating feeling like your money is just parked. Interest is paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is also paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Of course, you can also buy, sell, and exchange 200 plus different cryptocurrencies. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. Its features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, Crypto Pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and earn up to 10% back in rewards. If you are looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link down in the video description below to sign up today. You will get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and gets you a great offer to get started.